What I want to show you now, the following minutes, probably 15 minutes, is about to surprise you because you will never have thought about it. And in reality, it's very simple because it's in the end, it's uh, maths, it's uh, mathematics. Now, why is that the moving averages have the power to stop a decline in prices? Or, or why is that that a moving average can tell you exactly what the target is for a pullback? Why is that that if a moving average is penetrated, uh, say, downwards, then you, co you can assume that uh, the uptrend is finished? You know, uh, questions like this make the difference in your trading, make, like, make the difference between losing and winning. So, um, that's why I say that many people use them without exactly knowing what um, the meaning is, without knowing what they can extract from a moving average. Um, first question, why is that that we use such a period of a moving average and not another? Um, put, it, put it this way. Um, we say that the intermediate uh, trend, or what we call the intermediate cycle, uh, is about to last 60 or 61 days. Uh, we're talking about days of um, open exchange, operative days. So, what is the best period for a moving average which will represent an intermediate cycle cycle. Well, we assume that probably the best period is something in the vicinity of 30 days. That is to say, half the period of the cycle. And uh, we assume that many people have done the research, the experiments, and by a process of trial and mistakes, and then trial again, so on and so forth. Eventually, they came to the conclusion that 30 days, operative days, of course, um, is the best time period, the best time frame for a moving average which will represent an intermediate cycle. But the question is, why? Why 30 and not 15? Or not 50? Or why not 60? Why don't we use for an intermediate cycle of 60 days, the same period that is to say 60 days. Well, the, same, the, the question and the answer, as I said, is very much mathematical and has a lot to do with um, Gan. Let's remember what Gan said. He used to say that if you are in an uptrend and sooner or later you're going to have a full back, a reaction, something which will retrace part of the gains that you had in the uptrend. And he said, probably in an uptrend you will retrace, you will lose during the reaction 50% of your previous gain. Put it this way. Um, the price move started from 100, went up to 200. Then, in a reaction back, pull back, it would go back to 150. So it will lose 50% of the previous gain. Now, today, if, the, uh, if you lose 50%, up to 50%, you still can assume that you are in an uptrend and the new reaction has been a normal reaction. Well, so, and this is the point, if that cycle, let's assume, is 
the intermediate cycle. And it goes up from 100 to 200, whatever price that is, and then comes back to 150. That being that the point of arrival, which is to say 150, is the average between minimum and maximum. Now, the average between minimum and maximum is something very similar to the moving average of 60 days. In other words, if you calculate the moving average of 60 days, then an intermediate cycle, you will find something very close to 150. So, your price decline will stop of the moving average of 60 days. By saying that, you have already given the explanation why 60 days cannot be the appropriate moving average or an intermediate cycle, that is to say a cycle which lasts 60 days. Because that will be the appropriate time period for a moving average representative of a cycle of a bigger, of a longer period. The next one. The appropriate cycle, the appropriate period for a moving average of an intermediate cycle will be something which will represent less than that, less than a retracement of 50%. And Coming back to GAN, it will say that uh, the minimum reaction that you're going to have is 25%. So, a moving reaction, a moving, sorry, a moving average, which will represent an intermediate cycle, should be something which, in the end, will be very close to the average of 30 days, half, because by doing that, by uh, imposing a period of half the entire time span of the cycle, you will have in the end something which will represent a reaction down around, in the case of 25%. So when it will stop on that and bounce back, you can be sure that you're still in an uptrend and you're still in the same intermediate cycle. But, if it, if it is penetrated, then if the 25% distance, full back distance, is penetrated, then you can assume that that intermediate cycle has finished. And that you are in the descending side of the intermediate cycle, which we land on the uh, moving average of 60 days. So, while 30 days is the appropriate time period for a moving average which will represent the intermediate cycle, 60 days is an, an appropriate time period for representing the next, the longer cycle. Then, you see, you have a, a mathematical explanation why, in general terms, moving average have a period of about half the time span of a cycle. So, as we said, a moving average or an intermediate cycle will be about 30 days. If you want to uh, decide the appropriate time period for a moving average, a cycle, a weekly cycle, a cycle which will last one week, you will have to choose a period of about half a week. Or, if you want to decide what is the most appropriate time cycle for a daily cycle, let's say, let's assume it's eight hours, then four hours would be the most appropriate one.